this is Vitorials and uh, today I'm going to show you how to create this beer uh, flatline beer icon in Adobe Illustrator and uh, let's start with a new document go to file new I'm create 1920 by 1080 artboard and I'm going to grab this uh, colors and put it in my new artboard. Next step, I'm just going to create enlarge the row size of my layers. So it's get, going to get easy for everybody to just see my layers. I'm going to lock this to colors and create uh, three more layers. First of all, layers for our cup. Next layer is for outlines of the cup. Next layer is for form. And for outlines of the form. Let's start with the round rectangle tool or click M on your artboard and draw a rectangle. Height is uh, should be larger than your width, and then I am going to grab my direct selection tool and select two uh, two anchor points on the, my bottom, and drag on this handle to round my corners, and I am going to sample this color. This is our primary color. With Ctrl C or Command C, and then Ctrl F and Command F on your Mac, copy and paste in front. I'm sorry, I'm going to put it onto my first layer cup. Make a duplicate of this layer, and then I am going to grab this duplicate and holding on this red square paste it here to the outline layer and set the fill color to none and stroke color to this 5e 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 and boom now we, we have our outlines and we need to increase the stroke weight Eighteen is great, and I think I need to grab my direct selection tool and make just a little bit more roundness, like so. Great stuff, and uh, for a, for a while I need to lock my uh, outlines. So I am going to click on this free space between toggle visibility and my layer, like so. And next step we need to add a shadow, oh sorry, next step we need to create a rectangle grid on the new layer, so create a layer, a new layer, reduce the number of uh, rows to 3. And with left arrow key, reduce the number of uh, uh, columns to three. So you can um, see nine cell grid and release the left mouse button key. And I am gonna give the stroke color uh, to this uh, to absolutely different. So it's better to see our grid here. And I'm going to lock this, clicking on this free space. Oh, I need to adjust the height of our grid. And I'm going to lock this here. So we have a grid. So to create a shadow, click on this cut layer. And select this solid color layer. Holding Alt and shift key drag this layer to this uh, to this grid line 
like so. Uh, this layer shouldn't uh, cross this line. And next step is to uh, select our original layer and make a copy with Ctrl C, Ctrl F, like so. And select both this copy of, uh, apart and our duplicate. So you can see two layers are selected. And next, go to Shape Builder tool and select this part of these layers, like so. You can delete other stuff and uh, select this uh, uh, shadow. And I'm going going to recolor that with uh, recolor tools. This uh, color wheel icon, and I'm going to increase the saturation of this layer to around on 5% and decrease the brightness of this layer 5% uh, and uh, click OK to achieve this result and last step I go uh, adjust this shadow clicking on this bottom uh, bottom uh, anchor and just drag it like so Okay, so we have our shadow in place and we are ready to create a form. First of all, we need to create a horizontal line uh, like something like level and I'm gonna grab a rectangle and create it like Z and give this rectangle this color. So we have our uh, level of our form and it looks great. I also want to create a shadow. To create a shadow, simply grab your rectangle tool and uh, draw a rectangle like that and I'm gonna turn on my Align Art Pixel Grid then I'm gonna Ctrl plus Command plus to scale my artwork and to see whether my left side of my shadow here and left side of my shadow here is create a straight line. Yes, it's straight line. And I'm gonna select this uh, shadow and recolor it in the same manner that I am recolor this shadow. So I am gonna to make it a little bit less bright. I'm gonna increase the saturation on 2% here. So we have our shadow in place and ready to go. Next step is uh, to create a, a form of our beer. For doing that, go to ellipse tool and holding Alt and Shift key or Option and Shift key on your Mac, draw an ellipse like so. And give this ellipse this fill color. Then I'm gonna drag it with Alt key to create uh, copies. Like that. And then I'm gonna reduce the size uh, of my copies in, this, uh, in the sides and increase some of the circles in the center. And now I'm gonna grab my rounded rectangle tool and create a rectangle around the corner and create this effect that uh, is uh, my form is flowing over the uh, mug select both of them around the rectangle at my form go to pathfinder panel and click unite 
to achieve this result. Then I'm gonna back to my last panel and with Ctrl C, Ctrl F or Command C, Command F on your Mac, I'm gonna create a duplicate of this layer, of this uh, form and then I'm gonna grab this, uh, uh, this square and place it like here on my outline layer and I'm gonna sample this drop color like that and last we need to go to stroke uh, panel and round the cap and round the join like that I'm gonna select make it a little bit bigger so we have our form and next we need to uh, do the same that we did for the, our outlines of cap. We need to lock this layer on top and select the layer with our form with solid color and go to object, path and offset path. I am gonna to create a smaller copy so I need to offset my path with uh, the value I'm gonna offset my uh, uh, form with the value min minus 24 pixels and click OK to create this result now I'm gonna select both of my smaller copy and original file go to uh, shape builder tool and select this result and then I'm gonna sample this color from my uh, shadow like that and then resample the color from normal form like that so we have our shadow but we have also this layer So next step, what we're gonna do is to select this uh, smaller duplicate, lock of this my shadow layer and my bigger duplicate, and uh, sample the outline from here, and decrease the stroke weight, like so. And then I'm gonna grab my scissor tool. and slide this outlines of our form to create this arcs around slice it here and delete this part I think I'm gonna so I created this box around the pier around my form and delete all unnecessary stuff all this on my last panel I'm gonna expand it a little bit more and select all of them and just group them like so and scale it down a little bit just like so maybe adjust the placement some of them then select this group, go to stroke, lay, uh, stroke panel and draw the caps and draw the corners to achieve this result. And next step I am going to go to line segment tool and create this line here. So we have our form we have our mark and let's create a handle 
to create a handle we need to go to ellipse 2 drop all ellipse and create something like that then ctrl c ctrl f to copy and paste in front and decrease the size of our ellipse here and maybe increase a little bit here like that it looks ideal and next i'm gonna create a line go to my line segment tool and create a line keep it selected hold shift key and select both my circles and then grab your shape tilted tool and create this shape and delete all unnecessary stuff so i'm gonna to delete this and this and i'm also gonna going to uh, delete all of the uh, line remnants here and here and i'm gonna grab this guy and place it on my outline on my mark outline so i'm gonna unlock this and place it here and then create a copy and paste it in back ctrl c command p and grab this copy on this square and drag it to my uh, solid colors layer and then sample the color from our shadow like that and last step yeah i'm going to increase the stroke uh, weight of this handle so i have 18 points here and uh, if you have one more step here i'm going and i'm going to create the highlights here with my pen tool just draw it like that then i'm gonna close this path maybe a lot a line a little bit here so i'm gonna drop this direct selection tool selected here and drag it like that and then select my mark this solid color and ctrl c ctrl f to create a, a duplicate select this layer and duplicate go to pathfinder tool and click intercept to create this result and uh, i'm gonna give this intersect this color like so oh i have it in outline layer i'm gonna grab it and pack it here on my top layer like that and i'm gonna go to transparency panel if you can find your transparency panel go to windows transparency and change the normal blending mode to soft light like that and then the last i'm gonna adjust it just a little bit with my anchor tool so after i created this uh, uh, highlight i'm gonna create some lines here and set it to outline layer by grabbing this square and then sample the color from my outlines like so or go to stroke layer and round the cup and then holding alt and shift key i'm gonna produce a duplicate of this and last i'm gonna just decrease the just decrease the stroke weight of my form
like that. So we have our lines, we have our form and last we need to create So I create the line and uh, slice it with the uh, scissors tool and then adjust this, uh, the width of uh, my uh, this slices with the uh, Durp selection tool. Um, and I'm going to grab my Durp selection tool and decrease the width of this result and last but not least I'm gonna create this stand here so we have our final design but I can enhance it with a small handy elements we have and I'm gonna create these small details around my mark Grab ellipse tool, select the color from this uh, shadow color, increase the stroke weight like that, then drag my uh, this circle to the symbols panel. If you can find your symbols panel, go to Windows Symbols, change the export type to graphic. And click OK. Next, I'm gonna uh, grab my symbol spread tool and create a couple of these circles. Then go to symbol size tool and hold the Alt key, decrease the size of some of the circles. And then I'm gonna grab my star tool hit on my artboard to open the dialog box, set the number of points to 4 to achieve this result, then decrease the size of my star holding Alt and uh, Shift key. And uh, last I'm gonna increase the uh, scale my artwork with Ctrl plus and just a little bit round my corners of my style and give it light uh, and give the stroke color to set stroke color to light gray like that and increase the stroke width here to achieve this result next I'm gonna grab it called in shift key to 45 degrees and push it to my symbol panel to create one more symbol, change the export type to graphic and click OK. I scale it a little bit down. So uh, go to your symbol spray tool and create a couple of stars. Here, 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 some few stars. And go to my symbol star size tool. Holding Alt key, decrease size of some of them, like so. So we have our final result. If you like this tutorial, please thumb up, subscribe to my channel. I want to thank you for following to the end, and I wish you a good day. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.